Hello and welcome to your daily love message from your person. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in two powerful decks of cards today. We're going to bring in the Divine Masculine Tarot and Ascension Journey. And we're going to bring a powerful message in with this deck for you. What are they thinking, going through, what action steps are they taking? <clears throat> when there's a block in the throat chakra and they can't communicate and there's no contact, what do they want you to know? And I'm also going to bring in the Divine Masculine Comes Home Oracle. I used this earlier, but I want to go a bit deeper with this step because earlier we got this card coming out and they are desiring you right now and wanting you and letting you know that they're on their way. But we're going to go a bit deeper. And if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So what do they want to say? These cards are flying out here, making themselves know. What do they want you to know? What do they, this card's moving as well, wow, okay. What do they want you to have? All these cards are moving on top of the deck here. So I'm going to put the deck out of the way. Sometimes they do that and they really get my attention. So this is the messages coming through today, okay. So the first message from them to you is, I watch you when no one is looking. This is really powerful and they've spoke about this before. You know, they may be watching you from afar, so they could be astrally projecting to you. You know, they could be watching you on social media. They've got their eye on you. They may be watching you from a fake account. They may be watching you just in general online. If you're online yourself, maybe you're on Instagram or you've got a YouTube channel or you are around somewhere. They're watching you. They may be watching you when you're at work. You know, maybe you work together and they're watching you in that way. When no one is looking, they're watching you. And what that means is... They like to do it when no one is watching because they think if they show you any kind of emotion or attention or affection, everyone is going to know. And that's why sometimes they can seem to be nice to everyone but you or like everyone else's pictures on social media but yours. Or maybe they seem to be flirting with everyone but you. It's because no one else matters but you. So it's obvious that the person they aren't giving the attention to is the one they want to give attention to, and that's you. So your person is saying, I know that I'm quiet right now, but during the no contact or no communication or when there's a delay, I'm watching you when no one is looking. So you may not even be aware that they are watching you, but they absolutely are. And they're saying to you, look at this, I'm ready to begin again. Now, this has been a constant message that we've been receiving really since last weekend. I'm ready for the next chapter. I want to begin again. We have the world in our hands. And they've been doing a lot of deep thinking about their life and introspection about their life and understanding what they need to change. And they know that whatever happens next, they are ready for it. They are ready for the next chapter. They want to begin again. And they're saying, I haven't let you go. You know, I'm in a lot of pain right now. I haven't let you go. I'm preparing for the next chapter, but you're in that chapter. I haven't let you go. Maybe you're thinking, oh, is that next chapter with someone else? Or are they going to be single or whatever it is you're worrying about? They are saying, I haven't let you go, even though you may think that I have. How can I let you go? You are part of me. We belong together. They have just been working on themselves. And the green energy there is connected with Archangel Raphael, the heart chakra, lots of healing and activating. So they've been working on healing themselves, working on their body and working on their mind. And I want to tell you how I feel. There's lots of emotion there. Can you see the water? So the water is a symbol of tears. You know, you could see that as a cleansing as well because they've been going through a cleansing. I'm actually seeing rain in that card, storms, lightning, lots of energies happening to move them forward. And when I'm connecting with them in this way today, I feel a lot of power energy, you know, a lot of movements, a lot of like an active energy where they want to get this done. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to move forward. They want to express themselves. And they're feeling a whole lot of emotion. So there may be some volatile energy in there as well. We had the lust card coming up earlier, so they are desiring you. But I definitely feel they've been crying and letting go of emotion, preparing to tell you how they feel. And you feel like home to me. So you might think, well, how do they feel? What are they going to tell me? They're going to say to you, you feel like home to me. Again, this is a very similar message that we've been receiving over the weekend. You feel like home to me. When I'm with you, I feel safe. I feel secure. I feel like everything makes sense. And the Ten of Pentacles is that coming home energy anyway. It's that energy of being together in the right way, in a very secure way. I'm bonded to you. 
I'm bonded to you because we are one. Nobody else makes me feel the way that you do. And it also there's this energy of a bit of jealousy there, worrying about you moving on. And I'm feeling love for you. Isn't this powerful? So before I move on to the eagle cards, your person is saying to you today, I want to tell you how I feel because I haven't let you go. In the silence, in the separation, in the quiet times, I've been preparing for the next chapter, getting ready for it. I've been thinking about you, getting emotional about you, even crying over you. And definitely watching you when no one is looking. Preparing for this next chapter, wondering what you're doing. Checking up on you to see if you're ready for me. If you've moved on or if you do want me to step up and come to you. I'm wondering what you're doing. I'm ready for you. You feel like home to me. I'm feeling love for you in my heart and soul because we are meant to be. I'm bonded to you. So they are also saying to you, make love to me. That's definitely on their mind today. You know, they want to be with you. They want to hear your voice. They want to hear your voice when they make love to you. They want to hear your voice when they talk to you. And they're saying again, there's that card. That's the same card that came up earlier today. So they are feeling all this desire for you because they want you. They want to hear your voice. And it's never over between you. It's never over between us. Look at this. They're giving you a timeline here. I feel for some of you, not all of you, it depends on the circumstances. But understand that the majority of you watching this reading today, or if you've been guided to this reading any time, whether you're watching it on the day I record it or later down the line, within two weeks of receiving this message, they're going to reach out to you and tell you how they feel. Or you're going to sense them watching you. You're going to know that something's shifting because within two weeks, there's going to be a big power shift here. It's never over between us and they want you to know that within two weeks, you're going to receive confirmation of this, that they want to hear your voice. They want to make love to you and they want to be with you because they feel bonded to you. So what I'm actually getting here coming through is if you've connected with this reading because maybe you think, is it over between us? It's never over between you. Within two weeks, you're going to know that, okay? That means between now and the next two weeks, whenever you're watching this video, you're going to feel the love that they have for you. They're going to want to hear your voice. They're going to want to come to you because you feel like home to them. They are preparing for the next chapter of the life that you're going to share together. They've been watching you. But I feel within two weeks, they're going to tell you how they feel because they want to. So prepare for huge change. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.